Good and welcome to 13 News at 5. I'm Brittany Hardaway. And I'm Derek Bain. Thanks for making us a part of your evening. We begin tonight in Rockford, just about a week after the historic opening of the new Hard Rock Casino. It was a great day. We were out there and had a great time. So many different restaurants and, uh, and just attractions happening at the Hard Rock. Yeah, really neat to see just uh, how packed it was that first weekend. too. Yeah, it was a monumental day for the state line, marking a new chapter in Rockford's history. And it's been a process years in the making ever since the first proposal at Rockford City Council back in 2019 all the way till now where phase one of the Heart Rock Casino is bringing a lot of excitement across the area. Now opening weekend included four concerts and lines wrapped around the building and despite the initial buzz dying down just a bit, casino staff say crowds are still showing up in waves. Yeah, this all comes just 12 days after the initial opening and with a full list of events on the calendar in the coming weeks. At this time, Hard Rock Casino Rockford president Gino Eifreit says they're not sure how many people have come through the doors just yet, but what they do believe businesses nearby have also benefited from the casino opening, including the hotels and gas stations located right near the casino. Eifreit believes this will only continue to grow with concerts like Teddy Swims and Brian McKnight coming up and capacity already hitting its limit. Occupancy and visitation has just been through the roof. We actually, uh, twice on opening weekend, uh, we exceeded capacity and had to stop letting people in the building, which, you know, I, I wish that wasn't the case, but at the same time, that's a pretty, you know, that's pretty exciting that you got more people than we can actually fit in the buildings. 